All right, problem number 10. Woo. Love you, girl. Where are we? Problem number 10. Okay. Um, we got uh, given DB. So we got to write that. 1. BD is perpendicular to AE. And what that means right, is a given, okay, but what does that tell us, what does it tell us to be perpendicular, doesn't that mean that these are right angles, right, so then that means that angle E, B, D, and angle A, B, D are right, and not only are they right, they are congruent. Right? They're both congruent and they're right. And we want to set both up. We want to set both up because we don't know. Do, do you want to do HL? Right? If you want to do HL, you have to prove that this is a hypo hypothesis. Not a hypothesis. Hypotenuse. And if this is a hypotenuse, then this has to be a cross from a right angle. Right? If you want to just do ass, right? Because everyone wants to do some ass every once in a while, right? So, but it has to be right, right? To do ASS, it has to be right triangle, okay? So, that means, if I want to prove that this is ASS, that means I have to, it has to be right. That's why we're setting it up as right. So we're setting it up so that we can either prove that they're congruent, like ASS, or later I can prove that it's a hypotenuse and I can use HL, right? So I don't know if it's going to be angle, angle, side, right? Side, angle, side, or angle, side, side, right? I don't know which one we're going to use. So I want to set that up so that they're congruent. And then why can I say that? Well, they're perpendicular, right? Because they're perpendicular. But what do we say instead of because? Definition. Definition. Definition of perpendicular angles. Okay? And that's that's huge. That's huge. Okay? Next. Whew. Next, we have three. So number three is okay, if I don't have anything else I can I could make put in the hypotenuse part, right? Or I could just start talking about some other things like this one, this given, right? AD is congruent to DE, right? Okay? AD is congruent to DE. AD is congruent to DE. Why? It's given. It's given. Okay. All right, then four. What am I going to do with four? <coughs> Is there anything else I notice? Are they sharing a side? Yeah, they are. They're sharing this side, right? That means that this has to be congruent, right? What rule lets us say that? What lets us say that DB is congruent to BD? What lets us say that? What rule is that? Come on. Come on. It's almost like looking in the mirror, right? Reflection. reflection, but we call it reflexive, right? Reflexive, okay? Sorry. I don't know what I'm tripping on. Reflexive. Okay? All right, that's huge. So, what do we have now? What do we have? Let's take a look at what we have. First, we have a side. We have another side and we have an angle. Right? So we have ASS. Can we prove it with ASS? Can we prove it with ASS? What do we need to have? For it to prove with ASS, what does the triangle have to be? No, remember. ASS. It has 
to be right. Okay? It has to, it, did we prove that it's right? Yes, we proved it's right right here. So that means, let's use a different color. That means that we can prove this. Triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle E, D, B. Why? Because it's right, baby. Because it's right. It's a right triangle. So ASS works. Okay? Now the extra credit <clears throat> is the flow chart. Right? So let's take a look at these colors again. And let's flow through it. So number one, it starts us off. Do we get number two from number one? Yes, we do. Okay? Do we get number three from number two? No. Okay? Do we get number four from three? Yeah, no. No, you get it from its own... It's its own little thing, right? So this is four, sorry. So we get four all by itself, right? Okay. And finally, how do we get five? We get it from two, three, and four, right? Because we get it the angle, the side, and the side. A-S-S. That's the whole point. The whole point is that. How many times can you get away with saying that in class? Right? Alright. You can't get that right on tomorrow's test. And there's no way I can get something in your brain. Because that's the most taboo I can make it. Okay? It's the one time you get to cuss in class and not get in trouble. Fuck. No, not like that. <laughs> We don't have that one. <laughs>